Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you, my people. Really appreciate you. We do not take your support for granted. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. This one is regarding the All Progressive um, Congress, APC Power Blocks battle for national chairmanship position we know it's just um, barely about um, three months to the uh, convention of the all progressive congress where the national chairman and the national working committee um will be they will be decided will be picked uh following the dissolution last year the national chairman adam sushomale was removed he was sacked as well as the national working committee he headed and um, that committee was replaced by a caretaker committee uh, who um, my Malabroni is the one that chairs that committee that's in charge of that committee. We know that committee was set up in June last year as an interim committee and President Mohamed Buhari and Nek gave them the mandate to reconcile all aggrieved members in the party and litigations, internal litigation, um, those are members that have grievances against one another, settle everything. That was their main aim and also at the end of the year they were meant to hold the national convention and um, elect the new um, leaders the national leader because you know even at the time where the uh, national working committee was dissolved some um, apc chieftains kicked against it even went to court as a matter of court dragged the party to court that there is nothing like a um, caretaker committee in the constitution of the all progressive congress and nothing like that exists so um uh, some party members kicked against it as a matter of fact they are still in court regarding that matter so the intention of this interim group was to end litigations and um, at the end of the day um, elect new leadership for the party but towards the end of um, the year towards the end of 2020 we saw how everything played out um the caretaker committee came up that um they didn't have enough time that because of the two governorship election that was held, that's Edo State and um, Ondo State, that um, they didn't really have time to do all that they needed and they sought for an extension of their period. You know, it was just six months they had. Buhari granted that extension, gave them the extension, and that shocked and surprised many people as well. They didn't sit down well with some APC members as well, but they had to take it like that. So, Ketika Committee's uh, tenure was extended again, given another six months. So, right now, it's about three months, about 90 days to go for their tenure to expire and also for them to um, conduct the uh, um, national convention. But the big question here is that I um, hope they will not be seeking for another extension. Hmm. hope they won't be seeking for another extension. Anyway, um, uh, as, as this um, 90 days um, is approaching, um, there's a lot of tussle who will take over, who will be the national um, leader. You know, before now, um, there were speculations that most probably Adam Sushomale will be brought back. But the way it is right now, it looks like it's over. Adam Sushomale will not be returned back as a national chairman. Even he himself stated it, that um, even if he's given that position, uh, Adam Sushomale, he stated it, that even if he's called back to come and be the national chairman of the party, he will not... He won't accept it. Some person said he was bluffing anyway, but um, that was Adam Sushomale's position. But this, uh, because um, he's drawing close, a lot of tension in the party, speculations have it that um, Maima Laberne wants to take over that position, some other uh, um, notable persons in the party. Well, we'll bring you all of the details, we'll get into the news and get all that's going on right now within the All Progressive Congress. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe also press that bell please press the bell until it turns gray god bless you barely 90 days to the likely date for the national convention of the all progressive congress the hushed battle for control of the party structure at the national level is beginning to take shape saturday punch gathered in abuja on friday the pioneer interim apc national chairman chief bc akande was a leading figure in the defunct action congress of nigeria his successor, Chief John Odigo Yegu, started off 
in the All Nigerian People's Party with the return of democracy in 1999 before moving over to the defunct ACN. Former Edo State Governor Adam Soshomale, who is also the ACN bloc, took over from Odige Oyegu as national chairman. The current chairman of the National Caretaker Committee, Governor Maimala Burney, also has an ANPP background. On Friday, a former chairman of the Federal Capital Territory chapter of the ACN, Sonny Moni Daffy, declared interest in taking over from Maimala Burney. Moni Daffy told the media that his interest in the race was born out of the need to reposition the party for greater performance and service delivery. He said, with just about 90 days to our national convention, I don't think it's too early to start my campaign. With me as national chairman, by God's grace, our party will ensure that campaign promises are not mere rhetoric. I will ensure respect of all arms of government. A situation where the National Assembly will invite ministers and they will refuse to go is not right. We'll also ensure that undue interference in the process of the section of candidates, a situation which cost us four states in 2019, does not repeat itself. In response to a question on the issue of zoning, he said, my personal opinion is that the next president of Nigeria should come from the south. It could be the southeast, southwest, or south-south. I know that you have to negotiate to get it. You cannot intimidate, blackmail, or threaten people. Monida Fe, who described himself as a true Nigeria, said he was born by a Delta father in Adamawa State, where he spent most of his formative years before moving to Abuja, where he has been for over two decades. However, the Nasara State Governor, Abdullahi Sule, who is leading the campaign for his predecessor, Senator Tanko Al Amakura, is appealing to party members to give the CPC bloc in the APC a chance to lead the party. He has told whoever cared to listen that it would be in the interest of justice and equity for Al Makura, who is originally from the CPC bloc, to be given a chance to provide leadership for the APC. In one of his campaign stops in Nasarawa, Sule said two of the legacy parties, ACN and ANPP, each produced two national chairmen of the APC. The only legacy party that is yet to produce the national chairman is the CPC. Once the CPC is allowed to produce the next chairman of the APC during its forthcoming national convention, it is only fair to consider Nasarawa state. So uh, with, with this, um, the power blocks um, in APC, we know the different parties that formed the All Progressive Congress just before the 2015 general election. They are the ones clamoring. So different power blocks. They are now one party. I wonder why they are still referring to themselves as ACN. They are still thinking back. You know, um, there's been speculations that there might be no APC come 2023 the way things are going now uh um, um position the battle for the chairmanship position is bringing all of this stating that this this power block has gotten it before this one has gotten it this is the one that hasn't gotten it well we'll see how all of this plays out three months to go not long from now but the question is will um the the tenor of this critical committee will it not be extended again as it was done before let's just see how it will all play out but let's hear your take down below in the comment section thank you once again don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye